kindest regards by Whit Lori. Oh, I know Whit Lori. Yeah, so like if I could have like helped or even just written this one, this yeah. was, this would be good because so. it's like it's not really like a rap. It's like a, I guess it is, but yeah, man, that he picks so many verses that you just be like, oh my god, is he gonna stop it? Oh shoot! And like <laughs> the one song I know by him is like I do. He's still kind of like underground a little bit, mm -hmm. um, but he's getting up there. He's surfacing. Which artist did you grow up with? Well, <laughs> now I can get into it. Uh, I grew up on Prince, Michael, Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, Sly and the Family Stone, uh, George Clinton, Bootsy Collins, that whole Parliament function, uh, Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Tina Turner, Alicia Keys, who's popping a lot, Mary J. Blige, um, Outkast, that was the first rap song I ever listened to. First rap album I ever had was Equimini from Outkast, so shout out to them. A jazz artist too. Uh, my grandpa, rest his soul, he played a whole lot of great stuff for me. Put me onto a whole lot of stuff. My dad put me onto some jazz too. <laughs> um, Marcus Miller, Spiral Gyro, Chuck Berry, um, and then a lot of old school hip hop, you know, because, you know, shout out my dad, Master G. You know, MC Hammer, Young MC, Fat Boys, Ghetto Boys, Pac Biggie, uh, Lil Kim, MC Light, Queen Latifah, um, Brandy, you know, the list goes on, but... 21 so far, so... Yeah, <laughs> I mean... Who's counting? That, 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 would, that would be the entire video if we went and did that, <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I think, um, my, my, my relationship with music is the way it is because of Prince, like, with Michael, I, I was, I was given self-confidence, because I didn't really, I didn't really like what I saw in the mirror growing up, but I would come home and I would listen to Michael Jackson and everything would be better. So I kind of I kind of learned to love myself through the influence of Michael Jackson's music. And the reason that I love music the way I do is because of Prince's influence. Like, I listened to the elements that went into his compositions and how he used certain instruments and what sounds he would use to give us the full experience of what he was conveying to us. And nothing else really caught my ear or impressed me like Prince's music did when I was growing up. Oh, I, I could go on about Prince, <laughs> to me, Prince and Michael were the greatest, and because of them, I am who I am, so. I think that's why my standards are really high for music. Now, of course, you got like the biggest one. You got yeah. the king of pop and one of the best artists of all time. You so. know what I'm saying, man, like, it's crazy, it's crazy. That's, that's why they mean so much to me, why the music is just, to this day, ringing out to me in such a strong way and format, so. Shout out to them. How about you? Like I said, bro, my brother, big rap, you know, yep, yep, like, yep. Big Notorious, B.I.G., yeah, you yep. already know, Tupac, so I said, I said Proof, piece. Eminem, yeah, uh, early Easy Eminem. E, Ooh, so M -M -E yeah, yeah, like, oh, DMC yeah, and them, dude, okay. I'm telling you, like, I was all about it. I even did uh, Wu-Tang Clan a Shout little out. bit. Wu-Tang Clan, like, yeah, that in the quit. It was literally, when I was growing up from, like, the moment I could hear, because my brother was just going into high school, kind of. And like he was listening to that stuff and whatnot. That was like the number one thing I would oh, hear. Sure. Like I can't recall any other music but that that I listened to 24/7. Other than my dad's 80s like Duran Duran, oh, of course. The Police, yeah. you Shout know, out. Tainted, you know, Tainted Love, yeah. you know, like st stuff like that. So that's another five like Led Zeppelin, yeah, ACDC stuff like Sting that. Sting is another artist I grew up with. Wow, so, I love Sting. So like Sting Seal. Um, like you said, Duran Duran. Yeah. Who else? Pat Benatar. Too many. Um, I even grew up with uh, Simple Plan, The Bare Naked Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses. So many. ACDC. AC yep. Lenny Kravitz. Black Sabbath. You Black name Sabbath. It. Yeah. You name it, but definitely big in the hip hop, R and B, and nice. like rap kind Ooh, of. Oh yeah, the R and B. That's a question that would ring out for, for yeah. years on end. So it's <laughs> a big one. I, I hope we answered it. Which artist out of the ones you've seen on this channel has been your favorite? Hmm. Oh, so you got a double question. Oh, wow, yeah. That's it. Hey, it's, it's the one right hey. after. Another two birds, one stone thing. Let's see. Out of the suggestions that I've been given, which have been my favorite. I did Death of a Bachelor recently, and that was dope. That's coming soon. Um, out of the suggestions, though, uh, I'd say it's either between 21 Pilots and uh, Rag and Bone Man. I think because I've, I haven't been witness to anything that they've been doing both 21 and, and Rag and Bone Man and the end result was really really cool like of course Blurry Face I've stated is my favorite but oh, of course you know that's a new set of songs to add to the playlist that I make as the same with Rag and Bone Man like you know 
I've been saying for a while, I love effort in music. I love when people care about their craft. And I get that from both 21 Pilots and Rag and Bone Man. So, time between those two. I don't know who I can give the edge to because I'm still very new to what they do. But um, I guess the more I go into the music, I can see who I'm giving the edge to. Because yeah. I've only heard uh, one album from Rag and Bone Man and we've heard all of the music. Of exactly. So, it's a bit of an unfair advantage. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, maybe after the new project with 21 Drops and something new happens with Rag and Bone Man, I can tell you then but as of right now it's between us two dude I gotta give it a house just cause like that album yeah I mean wow I honestly do have to say I, I probably had the most spirit and most like fun with that one yeah I'll be I mean Vessel's a close runner but I well that was our first episode so yeah, I mean so. you know the crazy thing is they were asking about this Angel on Fire song and I was like oh that's on there cause I remember when we were doing it it wasn't mm-hmm. on the checklist like I was looking at it, I was like, "Oh yeah, okay, well, we, we, it goes from it goes from thirteen to fifteen. That's fine by me." Whatever. And I was like, "Cool, let's just do it." And they're like, "You skipped over it." I was like, "I, I don't remember that being <laughs> on there." I checked it, and I was like, "That was there." Yeah, like, I don't what? think so because we went over it. That's everything. what I'm saying. We went over it like three times. I was like, "Okay, okay, okay, okay." Yeah, go. we good, we good. So I mean, I listened, I've listened to it since then, and I like the song, but I'm, I'm telling y'all, it was not there when we checked. Congrats on one year from Hyper Future Reactions. Appreciate it. Are you ever interested in reacting to live performances on camera? And also, would you ever consider doing it in the 1975 album reactions? We just covered that earlier, actually. So, yes. So yes to that. <laughs> and yes to live performances on camera. Uh, I'm still figuring out how to like edit so that you can see what I see. I almost had it, but then I tried testing a video and it didn't come out correctly. So it's back to the drawing board. But uh, yeah, of course, you know, I, I love seeing live performances. Like, I, I always tell the 21 Pilots fans that the SNL performance of Heathens and the SNL performance of Ride, crazy. Absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Will you be listening to, reacting to XXXTentacion's <laughs> album that comes out on the 25th? I don't know how to break this to you, but <laughs> I'm really not a fan of XXXTentacion. <laughs> We were just talking about this. We were just talking about it. That man is not my cup of tea. Not a fan. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna be listening to that. Man, I mean, if he if he's what you like to listen to, that's dope. I hope you enjoy the album. But uh, I don't think I'll be giving that my time or energy. Um, and that's not anything towards him. I've said how I feel about him as an artist. You know, again, he's not for me. I'm not his target audience. You know, he's clearly on a different path and going for a different vibe than I'm going with right now. Yeah. So, no, I will not be listening or reacting to his album, but I hope you enjoy it if you listen to it when it comes out. Congrats, your channel is one of my favorites. Thank you so much, you're cute. I wanted to ask you if you've ever been to a concert before, and if so, which one was it and how was oh your experience? Gosh. One, two, three, four, five. Six, you might be a new viewer. <laughs> I don't want to get emotional. The first concert that I ever went to, and it's still the best concert I've ever seen, was Prince. I put in a couple uh, concert footage videos in the episodes, but uh, I've never really gotten into detail about how much I love concerts. But uh, yeah, Prince in Chicago, back when I used to live in Illinois. Mm. And uh, the Rainbow Children album had just come out, so it was all new stuff. But again, I've been listening to this man since, since birth. And I got to see him actually play music with his band. What? Like I've already stated, Prince is the one that made me care about music the way that I do. So with my first experience, <laughs> seeing live music played, being from the God himself, the actual greatest, that's the first concert I start with? Oh, come on. You know, okay. I had the time of my life. It was so monumental. And I remember it to this day. To even further that, this is the greatest night of my life, of my existence. I don't know if anything will top this, but Prince had a week-long concert series. My mom was a part of the MPG fan club, so she got all the exclusive emails and everything. And so they emailed her about this concert experience called Xenophobia. And I was like, okay, this sounds really cool. She got us the tickets. We went up with, with some family friends. We drove up from Illinois to Minnesota, got a hotel, and saw Prince seven nights straight. On one of these nights, and I'll never forget this, I, I mean, to the, to the detail of everything that happened, I'll never forget it. There was a night where uh, Prince was going off, just killing it, as he usually did. And one saying that he kept saying throughout the show was, it ain't over, it ain't over. And we would sing it while he was doing the music. So whether it be Peach, Alphabet Street, 
any of his classic songs. It ain't over would be the mantra that we would sing to keep the party going. So there was one moment where at the end of the show where he wanted us to keep chanting it ain't over, which it was over. So it was kind of, you know, ironic. <laughs> but um, he hit thank you, good night. It ain't over. It ain't over. And everybody was just, you know, it was one of the most joyous occasions I've ever been a part of. He gets off the stage. My mom says, go over to the conga line. You might be able to see him. I said, okay. I've never ran so fast in my life. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you now, I made a beeline for that damn conga line. <laughs> so everybody was standing in the conga line, hands out. It ain't over, it ain't over. Here comes Prince running down the conga line. No. Just, you know, no. shaking everybody's hands. It ain't no. over. It ain't no. over. I threw my hand out. And I still remember the exact moment our hands touched. Like, he just, he grazed it kept going like I it was it was palm on palm contact but you know he was you know going down the line but I still remember the exact moment I touched his hand and I was just over the moon joy like oh man it's probably one of my favorite stories dude I got so enchanted like, you made me feel like I was there I'm telling you man I'll never forget that like down to the point of contact with this man I'll never forget that. I ran over to my mom. I was like, he touched my hand. He touched my hand. And you know that whole, I'm never washing his hand again. Yeah, yeah. I was serious. You know, I then took a shower, but, you know, for the rest of that, for the rest of the trip, because I think that was like night two, maybe. Maybe even night one, but um, that was the most memorable moment of my life. I mean, Jeez. I'm telling you right now, man. The main reason that his death hit me so hard, but that night in particular, I'll never forget that. Not only that, the trip was incredible. That might have been the best week of my entire existence. I think I was seven when that happened, but... Jeez. I'm telling you, man. Dude, I'm love. telling you. Ow, two seven? Yeah. Jeez. Seven nights straight of Prince. Oh, wow. Now, anybody else might have been like, oh, I'm tired of it. Nah. Live music, seven nights straight from one of the greatest, excuse me, from the greatest to ever do <laughs> it. Excuse me. Yeah, I had, to, I had to pause myself for a second. Because in my humble opinion... Oh, man. That's the man right there. But yeah. I adore going to concerts, and it's because of that man. That man will forever be the greatest concert I've ever seen. So I'm sorry for everybody that wants me to check out other people in concert. The bar is high. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm letting you know that right now. The so, bar. How about you? <laughs> oh, man. I know, I, you, I know you mentioned the Halsey concert I, on the episode. Yeah, that's true. I haven't been to several concerts, actually. I've been to, like, maybe a handful, if oh, okay. even. But Halsey's probably one of my favorite ones because, again, this was, like, like kind of late. Mm-hmm. 2015, so she was still, like, underground a little bit. No one really kind of knew her. She was still getting up on the famous yeah, spectrum. Yeah, 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 And, you know, I, I knew her because a friend said, uh, said, hey, we should go. I right. want to hear this person. Right. And when I saw her, I was like, yeah, whatever. Her music's pretty good. I mean, I don't, I shouldn't expect too much from her because she's up and coming. I don't think her performances are going to be too great. Right. I was so wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. You were blown away. I, I really was because, like... She was humble about even the meanest of things, especially right. for someone who, you know, is uh, famous shocked. Yeah. Like, people were trying to grab her when she was trying to, like, kind of, like, sing out on the, where the people were. They were grabbing on her, tucking on her, and mm -hmm. she was just like, don't worry about it, just be kind about it. Right. And her performance was fierce and energetic, and I'll be, I mean, I've only been to, like, three to five concerts, but to be honest, her performance probably shocked me the most, just because I wasn't expecting that much from an artist. Like, oh, that, yeah. When artists go in, it, it means something, and it leaves a mark on you, so, salute. How'd you and Eric meet? <laughs> and also, have you been into music and analyzing it forever, or was there a point that you really went with it? And thanks for being you, dude, for real. You're one of my favorite channels. Keep it up. Oh, man. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. I salute that. Thank you, man. That's a good that's question. A question. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a throwback as hell. Dang, I wasn't expecting something like that. Do you remember? I'll I'll show you my perspective and yeah, then yeah. let me let me know what yours was. Actually, you do yours and then I'll do mine. How I, about that? Well, because I don't remember like the exact point. Oh, of, of course, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because uh, I hate going into this. There were so many faces that I came across in high school. Of course, his stood out among the rest. 
You know, of course, of course, of course. <laughs> did, you, did you come up to me to buy one of my albums and then you told me that you also did songs? Yes, it was actually, I, how'd you remember? That's actually it. Um, I, I was going to go with that because I remember. No, it was that actually. I forget which album it was, but it was one that uh, a lot of people that I didn't know were coming up to me. And then you came up to me one day mm -hmm. and you, I think you asked me if I was good. And I was like, yeah, man, it's me. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, was feel, I was feeling myself as a rapper, as an artist. Whatever. You can still check out my music if you want. Uh, but anyways, I think <laughs> I think you asked me uh, if I was who I was, and then asked if I could buy the album, and then you told me that you did music as well, and that you wrote songs. Exactly. And I was like, what? You write songs? Because I was yeah. looking for a songwriter to collaborate with, because I was getting tired of writing all by myself. Not to brag or anything. <laughs> you can probably take it from there, because I, I remember yeah. like this... Like kicking it with you a little bit after that, but oh, of course. I mean, to be honest, I was actually I've heard your name everywhere. I'm like, dude, who's this little G? Like, like I don't, <laughs> hey, hey, I, I don't know who he is. And then, you know, everyone's like, yo, he's like the most popular kid in school. Everybody knows who this guy is. And I'm That's like, crazy. dude, I'm a little nervous to confront because you know when those those like popular kids they sometimes get an ego at some point. See, just to cut you off real quick. That's why I hated. Anytime people would be like, oh yeah, he was the most popular kid. I remember I was in class one day and uh, the teacher asked me how I knew my friend Eddie. Shout out Eddie, by the way. <laughs> and um, he was like, oh yeah, we went to high school, but you know, he was too cool for me. And I got mad. I was like, dude, like, don't, don't put that on me. Like, I don't think I'm cool at all. For someone to be like, you were too cool to like, you know, care about me as a friend, like that, that hurts my feelings. I don't like having that narrative that I felt like I was above people or because I was popular, quote unquote, that I didn't want to, you know, get to know people. Like, I hate that shit. Yeah. You and know? I know that personally because I know who you are. Exactly. Like, you you would go up to the people who didn't even say a word. Yeah. And then, you know, to the people who were, like, the most spoken up and most prestigious. And you treated them just as any other person. My whole thing was, like, I want people to feel like how I'm feeling, which is why I go about everything I do. Like, I want people to enjoy music the way I do, which is why I do the show. And, you know, there are people that would be by themselves at lunch, and I'm like, well, why are you by yourself? Like, do you need a friend? Hi, how you doing? My name is Jerry. I wanted everybody to feel like they belong. I never wanted that, you know, elitist attitude that a lot of popular kids had, and that was, that was why I hated why people would be like, oh yeah, most popular kid in school, because popular and cool to me had negative connotations, and I never wanted to be that, but my bad to cut you off. So again, I was just scared because, you know, cool kid on, on the blog, he was like most renowned, right? Everyone knew who you were. I hate, I hate agreeing <laughs> for this. I really do. But yeah, yeah. So then I was, I was kind of like a little like um, hesitant to even come up to him and just be like, hey, I kind of want to like get one of your albums mm -hmm. and you know listen to some of your music. I and, remember this too. And it's then, crazy. and then I, I wanted to kind of like not fit in, but also like show him some of my strengths so he could want to hang out with me or even talk to me. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, I write songs. By the way, I still have a few songs. No one's ever heard them. I still okay. have them saved up. I'm glad that, that <laughs> that's still in the chamber. So but, but um, yeah, so that was just like the thing. Uh, and then later on, I, I remember I would talk to him occasionally, but I, I would, you know, kept him more of an acquaintance than a friend. Be yeah. Just because, again, I was intimidated that's and, I, and I couldn't fit into the, the crowd I thought he was in but then oh, i met his man. crowd bro they're just like anyone else yeah they're, they're super chill they're super kind it's crazy because <laughs> like you're not alone in having that narrative of me in high school and that really haunts me i was never that person and then i remember somebody coming up to me like you're not at all how i thought you'd be and i was like what the hell does that mean <laughs> i'm sorry that that was no bro case. you're chill now if i were to compare it from back then to now, i was like a two you were like the a no scale like, there was <laughs> like a, the scale was like a eight dead oh, on the side no. like an infinity that's why <laughs> oh no i do enjoy that story though that's that's dope because i remember like i was shocked i was like what let me see and you gave me one of your songs i was like this is dope let's run <laughs> and then we kicked it a little bit and then i think after i graduated i think that's when we started like really kicking it and like and yo okay let me get the connect you exactly, know and then we exactly. finally started talking then the rest is history welcome boom. to the tuna boom vessel Bow. Did you meet me your freshman or your sophomore year? I was sophomore year. Okay. Because yeah. you were, I, I graduated believe, junior. Or, what year did you graduate? I graduated in 2012. Oh, you were 2012? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I thought you were 2013. No, okay. no, no. Okay, so... was that so, your freshman year? So then, I might have met you freshman year then. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so... Because you were still, like, 
doing your thing yeah. and whatnot. I could have sworn you were 13, though. Dang, nah, that's crazy. 13, that, that was my middle school years, baby. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, middle school, Jared? 2012, I was 18. Okay, so, yeah. I either, was, either 17 or 18. You I, were 17, and I had believed I was 14. Or, no, or turning 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Around then. Because one of my other homies, Eli, he was 15 when I met him. Oh, okay, now I've been 15 then. Cause yeah. 15. Yeah, so. 15 and 17 then. Yeah. So it's been six years. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. Congrats, man. Thank you. Where do you see your channel in the next five years? Trust me, you're probably the only reaction channel that has knowledge. Well then, Damn, that's a that's a burn to every other channel and then a, a boost to yours. <laughs> but hey, I appreciate that. Wow, your reactions are so interesting and enjoyable. Keep at it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I hope the channel has at least a hundred k in five years. Oh, bro, I easy. I got. I'm hoping. I'm Understatement, hoping. bro. I, Fingers I feel, crossed. I feel like you'll get that within maybe the end of next year. That's wild, bro. No, nah, I really do because the end of twenty eighteen, hundred k. Like, cause let me show you something. Like, cause I watch YouTube on a regular. Like, gotcha, I gotcha. I'd switch cable out. Same here. <laughs> like, real, real, real talk. Like, I really be watching y'all. Shout out Sam and Kobe. Shout out Cody Co. Shout out David. Shout out Liza. Shout out all y'all. Corey share what it do. But but, but yeah, dude. Like, cause like I remember watching one of my favorite YouTubers, dude, from a dead game. Like this game has like literally maybe. 300,000 people playing it yeah, yeah, yeah. worldwide. Oh, well. It's a small, small game. I was going to say World of Warcraft, but it's not. No, small. no. World of Warcraft is huge, though. But, like, anyways. And, like, I remember he was making videos and whatnot. And he got, like, just, you know, maybe, I don't know. He had started with 100, and I subscribed to him at 380. Really? Was, yeah, and this was a year and a half ago, almost two years. Yeah. And he's now at close to 100,000. Well, then. From a dead game. And if you guys want to know the dead game, it's RuneScape. <laughs> oh, shout out Stephanie and Finn. RuneScape is dope. Yeah, so he still plays it, and like I'm still keeping up with it just because it's a old talented game. Okay, but yeah, and I'm just like, hold up, That's this wild. guy has 95k subscribers. Okay, well, hey, from a dead game. There's hope. Oh my goodness. Eric's prediction is that by the end of 2018, we'll have around 100k. Dude, I believe it. even if it's just like at its minimal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Even even anything close. I appreciate Call that. Thank Call you. It. Thank you. Last question. And I think we've touched on it already. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> man, that's a lot. <laughs> Got that nice ass stretch for the, for the final one? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Who's your most favorite music artist? Like I said earlier, Prince and Michael, definitely. My top. My top. Like, because of them, you have this channel. Plain and simple. And, yeah, everything else is a really, really nice comment. Thank you all for the love and the support. I appreciate y'all. Like, you'll never know. I have a lot more on the way. Panic's on the way. Russ is on the way. Okay. Um, I have a lot coming, dude. Like, dude, there's so much to film. It's too many edits as yeah. well. Yeah, a lot of edits on the way. Edits take probably the most time. I'm exactly. Dying. I'm going to have to have you on for the all-time low in the 1975 reaction. Renegade. So. Oh, man. Please yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. I'd love that. Okay, because you, you know more about them than I do. Oh, Again. bro, I grew up with it. I can recite you, like... You know, J.C. Ray and all, um, um, Remembering Sunday. You name it, the classics. Oh, yeah. You name it. I'll kill every bar. All right. Well, <laughs> I, I know the people are going to be happy to see you on that episode. So, once again, thank y'all so much for joining us for this Q&A. If you, you. want to see another one, let us know. We can try doing, like, a light goal. I mean, uh, if we get to... This is so weird doing this because I, <laughs> I see all the other YouTubers that I watch do this. Uh... If we could maybe do 250 likes. Oh. Like, I'm setting, I'm setting the okay, bar low. Okay, now, now you're doing it? Setting now the bar low. <laughs> this, is, this is a first. This is a tune-up first. I'm setting the like goal to see if you guys want to see more stuff like this. It's so weird doing this. <laughs> Holy shit. If we you expecting something from... I'm just kidding. I, that's, that's why it's weird. I'm like, hey, y'all, like, let me... Let me this, this will be one way, you know, like, you can like and comment if you want, but, like, the Vessel one almost has a thousand likes. Oh, my gosh. There's, like, 800-something on there. Okay. Which is wild, so... Uh, you know, I don't ask for nothing other than people don't be rude on the channel. That's all. But yeah, if you'd like to see another Q and A, if this gets to two fifty, two fifty <laughs> likes, that'll let me know that y'all want more. It is just keep up with us. You know what I'm saying? You can follow him on any and everything. You can follow me on any and everything. But right. that is gonna do it for this Q and A episode of the Tuna. Want to thank yeah. Eric for coming through once oh, again. Dude, thank you, bro. Of course. <laughs> Of course. My you gonna be bad. back for that all time low in the uh the 1975 one. Dang. You know, we're gonna make it happen. Woo. Uh that's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to that. Cause again, this is uncharted territory for me. What? Wait, question, question. Yeah. Am I the one that's been most on this channel now? Like a feat? 
I believe so. Dang. I think, yeah. Because my homie Josh has been on, I think, three times. But I think you've been on four or five. I got I gotta check the tapes, but dang. Uh, I think I think you're the, the the most reoccurring guest because you're the most popular guest. In all honesty, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Because you know the Twenty One Pilots fans. Oh, dude, Twenty One yeah, Pilots fans is the click. They, they, they literally they, they kill it. They're blowing it up. You know they're what I'm like, saying? Like, I'm here they waiting. they blowing up the spot right now. Like, yo, much love. Thank you for all the love and support. I appreciate it. Eric appreciates it. Go subscribe to his channel. All gratefulness goes to y'all. Thank you for everything. Hope you enjoyed. We out. Woo.